Good morning sunflowers and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing a college week in my life. Today's video is partnered with Skillshare which we'll talk about more later in the video but I'm currently about to head to work. So I'm going to show you guys my work OOTD and then we're going to head down to the shop. I have a shoot, a meeting, tons of fun things today. Alright y'all so I love to add some pep to my Mondays with a cute outfit. It gets me excited for the day so I'm wearing this white shirt. I think the mirror has like it looks kind of blurry. It's because the mirror is dirty, but I thrifted this white shirt. It has like a lace collar, and then I have this jumpsuit on, which I think I also thrifted. If not, I will try to find the website and put it down below for you guys if you're interested. If I don't, comment and I'll reply to you. But I'm going to go put my tennis shoes on, but they're actually in my car right now. So I'm just going to grab my backpack for school stuff, and this is my work bag, and head out. It is currently... Uh, 8 a.m. So we are having an early, great start to the day. Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wearing makeup every day. Used to rush to work. All right, y'all. So a little update time. I just finished up with my meeting. Let me turn, y'all. You guys are kind of like looking at my steering wheel. But I had my little shoot this morning for Lulu's stories. I'm stocking up to head home because I actually head home in literally like less than two weeks, which is crazy. So I want to make sure I have stories to post when I'm back there because it's super fun. And obviously, I love my internship. But I do want to head home. So I'm getting all those things done in advance, which is super easy because I just go in before open. I had a meeting with my bosses and then I just headed back home. So I just actually got to my apartment I just been in my car I'm trying to finish this cup of water so I can go inside and have coffee my goal recently has been to be better about hydrating especially because I feel like in this chaotic little season I'm in as you guys are probably in the same like my finals are next week which is crazy and just everything happening that's I feel like how I talked about my workout video, I haven't been prioritizing myself enough. Another part I haven't been prioritizing with my health is hydration. I've always been so bad at it, but I'm making a conscious effort to do better, and that's a start. So, y'all, if you guys are also going to try to take that little challenge with me to be better at hydrating, comment below because I need to do better at it. I fixed this little cup this morning, and I'm trying to finish it before I go have my first coffee of the day, even though I am so excited to have my first coffee of the day. Your girl needs it. It's currently, like... Okay, it's 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna head inside. I need to make my morning breakfast. I'm starving. Like I said, have my iced coffee, and then I have to edit an IGTV for my internship that I'm posting tonight. Go check out Shop Lux's Instagram. I'm doing like a holiday gift guide type thing and so super duper fun and then I have the fattest school work day ever today because I literally have so many things due because the semester is wrapping up with finals next week so we are going to uh, grind it out today we got this if you're watching this I know online school can be a lot but we got this so let's go ahead and head inside and yeah today is going to be amazing and the world down, stuck inside this town home with the family on the reality for us and So let's just keep it simple There's so much we can do at home Build a fort in the living room Have a pillow fight, grill cheese in our bed And we look at stars and eyes, keep it simple Joining me for breakfast, Stormy? There's so much we can do at home Build a fort in the living room Have a pillow fight, grill cheese in our bed sunflowers so while I eat breakfast I'm actually going to have some quality relaxing time and watch a Skillshare lesson so Skillshare is today's sponsor you guys know I love Skillshare so much I work with them all the time they are the best of the best and it's such a fun way for me to continue learning about things I care about because I feel like most of the time in school I'm not actually really learning about things that I use in my like side hustle and my entrepreneurial side of my life. So today I am actually watching a lesson called, let me read it, Intro to Procreate Illustrating on the iPad. I've been interested in learning more about how to create illustrations on an iPad for so long because you guys know I love to use mine, but I just feel like I always thought maybe I just wasn't talented enough. But I think a big part of it actually is that I've never had lessons on how to like do all the aspects and use the app. And I feel like it'd be such a nice tool to be good at because I could use it to illustrate different things in my YouTube videos. So that's the lesson I'm doing today. This one is by Brooke Glacier, I believe that's how you say it. She's an illustrator and children's designer. So it's so cool because Skillshare has literally so many different options for everyone. Pretty much almost anything you wanna learn about you can find on Skillshare. And it's such a great space for us 
us fellow creatives i know all of y'all even if you don't realize you're creative you have such a cool creative side that is like waiting to be discovered and skillshare is a great place to use to discover that a really great thing i wanted to throw in is the first 1000 people who use my link which will be down below will get a free premium membership trial of skillshare which is so cool because you guys can see if it's for you and i have a feeling that you guys are going to really really enjoy it i know especially over christmas break i plan to take a lot of different classes which i did have a question somebody dm me over on instagram and said that they were kind of waiting to do skillshare because they didn't have time for it with school and like one skillshare is great because instead of going to you know different classes in person where you have to have a certain time of the day free you can do skillshare on your own time at your own pace which is what i love about it and how i can do it with my busy schedule i'm going to still have a link for you guys in december so if you guys want to wait to do it that's totally cool too but like i said i am honestly a very busy gal this semester and because skillshare is at my own pace and when i can do it you know i can do it in my downtime in the morning as my like treat myself learn about something i care about while i eat my breakfast because i always like to have time for me or i can do it at night time before bed you know i don't know i can go on and on skillshare is amazing if you guys have any questions comment down below but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish eating my breakfast enjoy this lesson and then get into my school school part of the day disconnect the telephone rip up all the calendars cancel every plan catch up on the bachelor we'll still laugh again the day we kept it simple always used to worry always in a hurry Alright y'all, so I just finished up my holiday gift guide. It turned out super cute. I'm very happy with it. Little piece over here is playing in the tunnel my dad got her. So that is the background noise. I was hopping on to update you guys. So my schedule for the day is all planned out. I'm currently before I start my bio. I'm hoping to start bio around 1.15. I have some transcript request things to do. You guys saw this in my recent vlogs. But I applied to another school last night. So I have like three colleges of stuff to send them to because I took like classes through a bunch of different universities in high school which is kind of a pain because you have to pay them each separately but it's fine so that is next up on my list excuse me ma'am peace out excuse me excuse me always used to worry always in a hurry let all of the minutes just fly by focus on the wrong things double tap and scroll and fall asleep while asking myself so next up is my bio homework. I do it all on this like little module situation thing. So these are all the things that I need to do today. This stuff actually takes a super long time. So it's probably gonna be most of my day, but we got this. Let's just keep it. Oh, 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 oh. I wanna keep it. Oh, 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 oh. And let's just keep it simple. Like simple. There's so much we can do. Build a fort in the living room. Have a pillow fight, grilled cheese in our bed. Good morning, guys. As you guys saw this morning, I had econ class, I had Southern Studies class, and I actually just uploaded my workout routine. I had a few things to do with that because it was a sponsored video, so that's all finished. So we are feeling good. I'm about to head up to campus to do coding. I literally didn't even, I just brushed my hair. I didn't do it, which I never don't heat style my hair. Kind of here for this hair length because I don't feel like it looks as crazy. Usually, if I don't put heat in my hair, it literally looks insane. So. Shout out to Shani for cutting my hair when I was home. But like I said, I'm gonna go up, do coding. If I don't get done in time, I'm gonna watch my IMC Zoom lecture up at campus, but I'm hoping I can come home so I can like eat lunch during that because that class is at one. It's currently at 1040. So it kind of just depends how complicated my coding assignment is. And then yeah, I just have a bunch of, today's a pretty big school day just like yesterday. And then tomorrow, I'm probably going to focus in on some other aspects of my life. I'm really excited because I got an email and I'm going to be doing a podcast recording tomorrow, which should be super duper fun. And I'm actually, if any of y'all are subscribers and you have podcasts, go ahead and just like go reach out to my business email that's down below. Go ahead and just reach out to my business email that's down below. I would love to talk with you guys and be a part of that. And I was so excited when I saw that. That was actually one of my goals for the next few months was to get on a podcast and practice kind of speaking in that way because I have thought about starting my own podcast before. You guys know I'm not good at keeping secrets. Like that's not something that's for sure happening. But I've definitely thought about it if this spring is less chaotic as it's probably going to be. But I don't have a lot of experience outside of basic interviews and like a podcasty situation. I've never been on a podcast before. So that'll be really fun. Because I feel like I'll get a good grasp of like how I feel about it, how I feel like I am at it, and everything like that. So I'm so excited. Once that episode is up, I will talk about it in a vlog and put the link and everything. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys have anything like that that you want me to be a part of or want help with or whatever, 
comment down below or like like i said it'd, it'd be really great to reach out to my email because i actually checked that like a crazy person but that'll be really exciting tomorrow so tomorrow's much more i have a bunch of different like businessy things and today is just a day of a girl prepping for finals i also found out that i think i can move my econ final back if i need to so that could be helpful that's my like number one final that i'm stressed about right now that's the one that i have to kind of turn things around like the rest of my classes are fine but econ i'm stressed about a bit but if I do good enough on this upcoming test, then I don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to take it probably the soonest day as possible. Maybe even go home earlier than I planned. But I'm really just like giving you guys my full life update. But if my third test doesn't go, it's planned to be a drop test. So then I'm probably going to push back my final and stay in Oxford longer. So I'll kind of keep you guys updated. I'm probably going to do a week in my life next week of like finals. Because next week are all my finals. And kind of update you guys on my like going home situation and honestly i might even go home in my finals week vlog because it just like i said it depends on my grades and my stress levels and everything so we're gonna we're gonna get it all figured out but yeah okay i'm gonna head up to campus i'll probably get a few clips on my phone of campus but it's raining out so i don't want to get my camera out once i'm there so yeah let's head up it's crazy because if i transfer this will be my last week of classes at Ole Miss ever which is like insane so also there's gonna be a full up update video on that there's no plan set yet there's nothing to announce yet but when i do have like a plan figured out with that whether it's like whatever way it goes and wherever it is and all the things of like what i'm gonna do with my life and everything like that once i get that figured out there is gonna be an update video i'm hoping dream vlogmas but um i don't know if i'll have my life figured out by vlogmas so we'll see but stay tuned for that video because i know i've been talking a lot about the whole transfer process and everything and that i'm considering that and vlogs and i've made a little progress with it but it's honestly such a slow time consuming process on top of everything that i've been doing that's kind of like we're gonna really get things figured out over christmas when i don't have all the stressors that i currently have um, but i finished doing the application side of it hopefully um but it's just really complicated you know switching majors technically because my major is only at my school and so many things play into that i'll be including that in vlogs you know that'll be part of vlogmas of me figuring out if it's not figured out yet but yeah that's my open and honest little rant of the week because i feel like a lot of times my vlogs i show clips of things so i'm trying to do a better part of sharing the positivity because everything happening in my life right now is all happening for good purpose and there is so many positive sides to all of it but also showing the truth of like the chaos of it all because it also is about finding positivity in these situations not just finding positivity when life is perfect and easy and everything is going to plan and everything is spectacular you know what i mean so that's why i've been trying to include more of this let me know how you feel about me like i know these rants are kind of long but i want to show you guys like the true parts of life and finding the positivity within it and choosing to be a happy person within all the chaos because right now i definitely my brain is like a scrambled egg <laughs> but we're but we're happy you know it's part of the journey and it's actually really fun for me to like not really know what i'm doing like parts of it are stressful but also for me i love change and i always think that really cool things have the potential of coming from change and so it's a very hopeful feeling that things are moving so all right i'm gonna go up to campus and stop ranting but thought i would keep things open and honest in this week in my life as i always do <laughs> Build a fort in the living room Have a pillow fight, grill cheese in her bed And me look at stars at night, let's keep it simple Disconnect the telephone Good morning, sunflowers. So happy Wednesday of this week in my life. I know yesterday it stopped kind of abruptly and early in the day, but all night I was kind of just working on stuff and then I... <laughs> Hi, it's Stormy. And then I watched The Bachelor with my roommate and I don't know, I just kind of felt like I needed a little break yesterday especially because i literally was just sitting at my desk doing schoolwork. she's being crazy so i was like this isn't very interesting so y'all didn't miss much but it's wednesday now i just got a video uploaded i uploaded two days in a row so if you guys haven't checked out my recent videos just in case your subscription box missed them go check them out but i'm about to go get ready for the day i made my little list of things that i want to get done today we have a long list as you all can imagine but I'm going to get ready and I think I'm going to go to a cute little donut shop which I actually went a few weeks ago in my vlogs to do this stuff because I feel like I will focus better if I'm not here. And yeah, I'm going to get some coffee, a donut. That all sounds amazing. So I'm going to go throw some makeup on, put an outfit on, things like that. So I just got dressed for the day. I'm wearing a super casual fit for me. It's not really like my normal style, but I just wanted to throw something 
easy on before I headed out the door. So I'm just wearing this top. I think this is actually from Aerie, I believe. Or actually, it's, it's Paxson. I remember I got it on the clearance rack. But it's so comfy and it's like long sleeve but still like really light. Which is nice because the weather right now is kind of like in that transition mode. And then I'm wearing this white tennis skirt which is actually from Marshalls. And then of course my white sneaks. So yes, I'm gonna grab my backpack and my purse and we are going to head to the catch up on the bachelor. We'll still have the game. back to my apartment it's currently at 12 or at 11 53 the pod recording today is at noon when that podcast becomes available that i'm going to be on i will have it linked down below the podcast itself has not yet been released yet she is like pre-recording for when it does get released but i'll keep you guys updated with that because this is so fun and i'm so excited and i'm so honored that she wants to talk to me so i just prepped my little space i prepped some stuff beforehand i'm sure it'll be like super candid but she kind of gave me like some basic questions she could ask so I wrote some notes just in case like I my mind slips or whatever and then I just fixed a cup of water in this cute glass half full cup because in case like my throat gets dry during it I've never recorded a podcast before so we'll see and then I just also made my to-do list for the day just so I make sure that everything gets done and then once everything's done I can relax update the podcast has been recorded i am so happy it was so 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 good i'm gonna put her youtube channel name on the screen she said the episode should be released around the second week of december so stay tuned in my vlogmas i'll talk about it it was so good she had such good questions and she was such an amazing speaker and she's only 14 years old i'm pretty sure she said which i think is so inspiring and so cool because no matter how old you guys are you guys can go for your dreams and you can start following those dreams but i'm about to mark up my to-do list to see what I'm going to do next. So obviously this is done, this is done, this is done. I might actually do one of my homework things while I eat lunch. I think I might go make some lunch because I've been really bad at eating on like a good time schedule. It makes my dinner all wonky and it's just, it's just wonky girls. So yeah, let's go make ourselves some food. All right, I made a little personal pizza. I fixed another cup of water. I'm really trying to hydrate better like I've been talking about. So I'm gonna have this. And then after I have this, just pure cup of water, I'm gonna try to have a liquid IV. And I'll do it with you guys because I have like a million flavors right now, which is so fun. I'm watching a vlog because I like to take my little meal time as some downtime. And then after that, I'm just gonna work outside because it is a beautiful day outside, if you guys can see. Feels super nice. I might even throw on a little coat. You know, the fall vibes are immaculate. Little Pisos getting some outside time. Gotta take care of Kitty's mental health, so I always like to get her outside every day. So she's vibing in her stroller while I have my little lunch, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do all my schoolwork out here. All right, y'all, lunch is finished. I'm gonna have a liquid IV. I have so many flavors right now. My favorite, like, taste-wise, is this strawberry one. I've been having that one a lot. I also have a little passion fruit. This is acai berry, I don't know how to say that. But I think what I'm gonna have today actually, let me move all this stuff. Oh, I also have lemon lime back there. So you can see we really have all the flavors. But I'm gonna try this. I don't think I've had it yet. I opened it, but it is the Energy Multiplier Supercharged Energy Drink Mix, one stick, multiply your energy. So we'll see, I'm a little scared of this one taste that's why i haven't tried it yet i'm really picky but i'm gonna have this i feel like i need some energy to get through my afternoon of homework so like i said i'm really trying to do better about hydration mainly because i feel like i always complain or like not even complain but like think about the fact that i literally feel like i never feel 100 percent and it's like well girl how are you gonna feel 100 percent when you literally have one cup of water a day maybe like it's embarrassing how bad my hydration can be so i'm gonna add a little ice as well and i feel like adding a little liquid iv helps me too because it adds some flavor so i'm not just like straight drinking water all day i don't know i like the taste of water it's just like haven't been my priority so we're prioritizing miss water the rest of 2020 ladies okay like i said i have no idea what this flavor tastes like but I've heard that these energy ones work so well. 
I know um, a teacher my mom works with uses it like religiously and says it's so much better than coffee. Oh, interesting. Okay, it's green. Okay, I should have realized that it has matcha in it. So you can still drink it cold. I feel like this possibly would have been good hot. I don't know y'all. Well, this will be a mission. I'll try it and then if it's kind of gross cold, I'll tell you guys and we can try it warm another time and I'll tell you. But I do like matcha cold, I think. Yeah, I think I do drink matcha cold actually. So I don't know what I'm spiraling about, but like it's like green, green. I wasn't expecting that just cause like all liquid IV flavors, like the strawberry one's still clear, not like red. All right, this color is like, I should have made this in like a glass of see through it's kind of aesthetic. But we digress, you know, we learn, we live and we learn. Kitty's crying because she's waiting to go back outside because I didn't want to leave her out there because I'm terrified someone's going to kidnap my $50 black cat and that's the tea of it all. So, you know, we all have our fears. Okay, let's go back outside and ew, what is that? Ew, it's like a leaf for my pizza. Nasty. Okay, let's go outside. All right, y'all. So, we are going to try this new flavor that, well, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. That is so good. First of all, I like that better than matcha. Second of all, I think that might be my new favorite flavor, which is really good because I always need energy. So that's probably the one I'll reach for the most. That tastes so good. It kind of tastes like, I don't know if there's supposed to be like a lemonade taste in it, but it kind of tastes like lemonade mixed with like a slight aftertaste of matcha, but like in a good way. So we are a fan. She's screaming because I'm talking, but currently, currently working on my Southern Studies portfolio. I've been working on this a lot lately because it's due next week, so. Oh, I'm so excited about this drink, guys. I literally like this better than lemon lime or strawberry flavor, so yes, ma'am. All right, y'all, so update. I'm taking a little break from schoolwork to shoot for my internship. I'm making another holiday gift guide. I'm gonna have tons of those going up. Shop Blue Ox is the Instagram. Little piece of biting my ankle. But Shop Blue Ox is the Instagram if you guys wanna check out those gift guides. I'm gonna make like some gift guides on my I do TV too, but if you want to see like some really cute accessories, shoes, clothes, that kind of stuff that the place I work for has, go check those out. It's super fun. So I just set up to shoot that. I'm going to do it in front of my desk today. I need to clean up that space a little more, but just set my tripod up. I need to get a better tripod. So if any of you guys are like small YouTubers, whoever you are, if you have a tripod, comment down below suggestions or links because this is literally the fact that this is still my tripod, it's just embarrassing. And also this is what broke my Canon G7X. So we don't want that to happen to my Canon M50. So so if you guys have tripod racks, I really need to look into that. Just thought of that, cause it makes me so nervous. I put it like on its side for like the IGTV, you know, it's the long, not that long like YouTube. And I'm always like, gosh, if this falls, I'm gonna literally yeet it all. Ooh, also I wanna give you guys a quick little sneak peek at some of the items that I'm shooting just cause I thought it would be fun. Cause like it's sometimes hard to show you guys what I'm working on. Also in the background I've been listening to Pretty Basic Emma Chamberlain's episode. Honestly, it's so good. I'm really blown away. I wasn't expecting that from this episode to be honest just because I don't usually always listen to this cause it's more of like a chatter one. And it like genuinely made me laugh multiple times. But here's a few of the little things. I'm doing like a college gal gift guide. So I have just like some basic college lady items you know and these are all actually like super affordable so so yes i'm gonna go film let's just keep it oh, 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 oh. happy thursday y'all i just got out of econ class and i'm gonna have breakfast and then i'm gonna get ready head up to campus i have in-person class today i have coding all the things so yes today is going to be a productive little day and it's gonna be the last day of the vlog. I did wanna preface that because I think I'm gonna do like a TikTok day in the live tomorrow. So I'll put my TikTok on the screen. I plan to start posting on TikTok a lot more. Definitely check that out. So the Friday of this day of my life will be over there if you guys want to see it. All right, y'all, I came outside for breakfast. Of course, it's starting to get a little chilly, so I'm probably not gonna stay out super long just cause little Stormy's with me, but I do have a little blanket in there for her. But y'all, I'm obsessed with these PJs. I just wanted to put y'all onto them cause I did an unboxing in the last video and I literally have worn them every night since I got them. So soft, but yes, I think I'm even gonna watch a Skillshare video, eat my bagel, have myself. My favorite part of the day is literally breakfast. So we stand. 
right y'all so update i just got ready for the day i'm about to head to campus as we speak i just got dressed i did some really light makeup i just put like some foundation and some powder and some mascara on just to feel like put together for the day i'll give you guys a quick otd in the car just because my room's kind of messy i need to clean it later in this vlog so i thought i'd just show you guys in the car but i'm wearing this sweater from princess polly it's just like kind of oversized it's really warm i'm wearing my anna louisa necklace love their jewelry i'm wearing these princess polly checkered pants super cute and then i'm wearing and these little loafers so yes so yes i also really need to do laundry like i had to wear my loafers today which i actually missed wearing them i forgot i had them so i'm glad i wore them but i'm like out of socks so a little cleaning tasks we'll be done tonight it's a windows down kind of day it's such nice weather here in mississippi still which is amazing so yeah i'm going to head up to campus head to the computer lab i think i'm gonna probably do some work outside when i'm done because my in-person class is until one and like I really doubt my coding this time. It won't take me this long, but I figured I could go up and focus and just use different study spaces up there. Today is my last day of classes at Ole Miss, potentially ever, which is crazy. so update i finished my coding assignment and i just came outside i'm gonna do homework right here for probably like an hour before i head over it to class it's super nice i've never used this space it's right above the computer lab so So I just picked up some lunch. I got some tacos from Cute Doba, got a Coke, and I came to like where my next class of the day is, which is here. It's pretty dead because everything's closed because of COVID, but since it is empty, I thought it'd be a good place to eat and do my homework. I still have like 40 minutes before class. All right, y'all, so update. I just got home from my last IMC class, my last class of the semester, which is crazy. Literally next week is finals. So the actual class portion of everything is finished, which is literally insane. The semester actually went so fast, also because it was like shortened by a lot. But like I said, just got home from that. Currently making myself some matcha liquid IV. You guys saw I taste tested this yesterday. Literally best flavor ever. I wanna come for you, I know you've been. Oh, where do we go? Hey, in the real world of snow. finished making up my drink i'm going to go enjoy outside and do my homework but i'm actually going to finish off this week in my life here because the rest of my night is just going to be setting and i really need to focus and like i said i'm gonna be doing a tiktok day in my life tomorrow so if you want to see the friday of this vlog go check out my tiktok i love you all so much don't forget to check out skillshare one of my favorite favorite learning tools ever i love educating myself on new things all the time and things that i care about which skillshare makes it very easy to do that but yeah i'll see you lovely sunflowers in my next video get super excited because vlogmas is getting so 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 soon and i will be doing it this year so yeah i'll see you lovely sunflowers in my next video